<laughs> From fingerprinting to DNA samples, these students at Culver Stockton College are going past what you would normally learn in an average college lab to the world of forensic science. They're on the fast track to identify the bad guy using science and math. When you think about forensic science, you're probably thinking microscopes and lab coats, but it turns out this forensic science specialization extends into computer science and even the courtroom. Why is it important to take that work into the courtroom and show students what goes on there? Because it's an integrated team effort. It's not just the lab, it's not just the police, it's not just the courts. They all have to work in concert together uh, to get the right outcome. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very realistic. It emulates what happens in the real world. Professor David Carruthers says one of the fastest growing areas of the career field is forensic accounting, something that helped convict con artist Bernie Madoff of his $50 billion Ponzi scheme. Forensic accounting uh, focuses on following the money trail. Where does the money go? Who has access to it? Who may have done something illegal? That's the focus of Culver Stockton College junior Justin Ferris's future. Well, what attracted me to forensic accounting was that uh, I could use my legal study and my, my math skills together and I could work in the area of fraud prevention. Culver Stockton College officials say their intent is to bring specialized integrated courses to small classrooms. They get it in an intimate context, one that emphasizes skill sets that are relevant to, to many lines of work. Melissa Shriver, KHQA News, Canton.